I'm Alex Villarreal with the VOA Special English Technology Report. Silicon Valley in Northern California is home to many of the world's largest technology companies. These include Apple, Google, Oracle, Intel, Cisco Systems, and Hewlett Packard. The Valley is also home to the Computer History Museum in Mountain View. It reopened in December after $19 million worth of improvements. One of the additions is a permanent exhibit called Revolution, the first 2,000 years of computing. Alex Bohanek is a curator at the museum. Mr. Bohanek says the new exhibit tells the story of more than 1,000 historical objects. He said, some of the oldest items are actually not computers. They are devices that helped people calculate. And the first object people see walking into the exhibit is an abacus from the 1800s. Because the abacus is a daily use device made from wood, few of them have survived. Mr. Bohanek says people have the chance to handle some of the objects in the exhibit. He says one of the more popular items is a portable computer from 1981. The Osborne One was about the size of a sewing machine and weighed more than 10 kilograms. So just being able to pick one of those up will help visitors understand how difficult portability was about 30 years ago. Visitors to the Computer History Museum can also see parts of one of the earliest large-scale electronic computing devices. The ENIAC, or Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, was designed during World War II. There are also pieces from the guidance computer that was used during the Apollo space missions. Mr. Bohanek says the Revolution exhibit is about more than the history of modern computing. He says it tells a much larger story about how these developments have affected society and culture, especially in recent years. He said the revolution to most people is that computers are everywhere. If you are crossing the street, there probably is a computer controlling the traffic light. Computers surround us. In some cases, they are even inside us, like the cardiac pacemaker device in the exhibit. The Computer History Museum plans to launch an online version of the exhibit in March. The museum has 100,000 items in its complete collection. Only 2% of them are currently on display. But officials say 75% of the items will be viewable online. For VOA Special English, I'm Alex Villarreal.